Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we've got a whole range of Rolled Angel dash cams, specifically the Halo range. And what we're going to be doing is taking five separate videos to review these one by one. So we'll go through each individual dash cam. Hopefully, if you like any and you want to proceed with the purchase, Rolled Angel's been kind enough to actually give us a discount code for our viewers. So make sure you use the code CRD20 for 20% off. So the one we're going to be looking at today is the Halo Pro. It's actually the last in their range. And it is a front and rear dash cam. So it retails at 199, just the same as the Halo Ultra and the Halo View. Again, if you've not seen those videos, just make sure you check out the playlist up here and it'll show you all the installation videos and reviews of these full range of Road Angel dash cams. With the Halo Pro guys, like I said, front and rear, 2K resolution. On the rear, you've got 1080p. Again, coming around the back, it comes with a two year warranty, same like the Halo Ultra, and has GPS built in and telematics, again, just like the Halo Ultra. So the way to think of this, guys, is if 4K is not important to you and you value having a front and rear dash cam, then I believe the Halo Pro sounds like it's the one to go for. So let's have a look what's included inside. And then it shows you at a top level exactly what's included inside the box. So you've got the dash cam, front and rear cables. So again, this is if you're using the 12 volt power cable from directly from your car, or you can hardwire it um, to enable the parking mode, etc., and round the clock um, filming. You've got your 3M sticky pads and then some instructions, right? So let's not ponder too long on that. I'll just actually show you the dash cam first. So it's a grey dash cam. So the first one that's actually not black in the range. Um, you can see on the back, you've got a USB-C connection. You've then also on this side is where you've got the micro SD. So a nice little rubber cap this time, um, as opposed to the plastic cheaper versions that we saw on the go. So SD card goes in there, nice and simple, and then you close it up, so 128 gigs. You've got what looks like a button to turn the um, uh, microphone or the speaker off. And then finally on the front, you've got your LED status light. This is to basically show um, on the front that the camera is active. And then you've got the ability to adjust the angle of the dash cam. So if you imagine once this is mounted, you may need to lift the dash cam up slightly so it's looking straight directly out the windscreen. Then you've got the rear dash cam, which is not waterproof, unlike the one in the Halo view. And basically you can see it's a very similar approach. So you've got a um, bespoke connector here which once you've mounted this, what will happen in the packaging, um, in the remaining packaging, I'm not gonna go through all the wiring, etc. cetera, um, but there will be a cable that runs from the front dash cam all the way to the back, and then you will go effectively with this camera and plug into that. So it's almost like a harness that will run from the front to the back, and then this will plug into it, right? So pretty straightforward stuff. So guys, that's, that's pretty much it. This is the last dash cam that we're onto in this five part series, and I think, it honestly doesn't look that bad at all. Um, I do actually like the gray. Um, it's yet to be seen when we get to the car, etc. how bulky this will look. But with that said, let's actually jump into it and get this installed, guys. Right, guys, we're back in the car. As you can see, the Halo Ultra is already mounted. I've got the Pro in my hand right now. What I'm going to do is get that quickly mounted roughly alongside it. Um, get the back camera plugged in, but I'm not going to have time to show you how to connect the app, etc. If you want to see that, just go and watch the Halo Ultra review because that shows you exactly the same process for the app. Um, it is an identical feature in terms of it's got GPS built in, so it's got the same functions, the same dashboards, etc. that I've previously shown in the Halo Ultra video. The only thing is you will not get the, the safety assistant function which warns you that you're too close to the car in front. With that said guys, let me get this mounted. We're running out of daylight and let's go and get some nice test um, sample footage between the two and then I'll drop in the video and hopefully you guys can make your mind up as to which one's better suited for yourselves. So guys, one of the things when you flick to settings um, that's different on the Halo Ultra because of the GPS is it basically gives you a score 
based on your driving. So rapid acceleration, hard braking, any sudden turns, and then a nice little fun numeric score. So it gives you a rating out of what I presume is 100 and tells you how good you're doing. It'll give you a start and finish location, distance, time, and a few other things. What you can then, then do is drill down into this. It'll give you a little chart of how you did, where you went, um, where you were actually doing some of the harsh stuff. Um, and then what you can actually do is go down into this, which is pretty cool, export it. So again, you've got your images down here, right? So like a little snapshot here. Um, it's showing you your max speed um, throughout that period, how that went, um, any elevation, changes, acceleration, performance, etc. So this is probably a bit skewed just because I've been messing around with it parked up, but you get the idea that I'd be able to track all of that information. And then by pressing the little picture icon at the top, the camera icon at the top, and then what that ends up doing is basically overlay all of this onto what looks like a JPEG image. Um, and then you can basically just hit, where is it? You can just hit save. And yeah, job done. So really good, really good feature to have. I mean, it's nice. I personally thought the GPS was just for having the sake of tracking the speed, but it's nice that Road Angel have taken this a, a step further. It's also worth saying in terms of the Halo Ultra, Road Angel's also built in the safety function. Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'll put it up on screen right now. And what this essentially does is work like a proximity sensor. So if the camera feels the car ahead is getting too close, it will give you an audible warning um, to basically increase your distance. But um, really cool stuff to have. It's very much like modern day um, pre-sense warning um, or proximity warning that the modern cars have. The process for pulling the footage off is exactly the same as you come through the application. I'll just quickly show you um, how you do that. Once you're in there, you can literally use this as a playback tool to find the date, the time, etc. that you want. Let go on it and you can tap it and it will play. And then simply just press download here and then it will download that for you. So guys, those of you that watched the previous video will recognize this clip. So it was filmed alongside the Halo View and the Halo Ultra as well. So this of course is now the Halo Pro. Immediately over on the right hand side, you can see the office furniture shop. So it's a lot better, a lot more clearer than the 2K camera that's shown on the Halo View. Um, so, so far so good. Um, the colors again look good. Not anything specific to call out other than there is a slight difference in quality although um, not really noticeable to be honest between this and the 4k so so far everything looks really good let's have a look at the second comparison that we did on the previous video um, looking at when the cars parked up at the traffic lights and you can see pretty much there again we can make out the um, writing that's on the side of the blue taxi there so again the top line says simple cloud so this wasn't visible on the previous uh, 2K camera shown on the Halo View, but was on the Halo Ultra with the 4K. So I believe the Halo Pro is obviously, well, uh, visually I can see anyway, um, it's got a better camera than what the Halo View does. So keep that in mind. Um, this is the strongest front and rear camera offering that Rode Angel currently have. Just Let's just quickly finish off with um, the rear view and just see what that looks like. So of course the camera is mounted inside the car. The Jaguar that I'm using doesn't have the best uh, visibility anyway, but what you can see is it's dealing pretty well with the light. Um, you can just about make out the number plate on that car um, directly behind us. As it moves closer, I'm sure that will come into focus. Worth mentioning at this point, you can probably see the speed down at the bottom. So that again is GPS tracked because the Halo Pro and the Halo Ultra have GPS functionality but um, just another good feature. But so far, to be honest, I'm not that worried uh, with the rear camera. Again, it does seem like it does the job. Um, so you can see now the car's getting closer. It's a lot easier to focus on the um, number plate, but hopefully that gives you a quick idea of how the rear camera looks and how it functions. All that's left now, guys, is let's quickly look at the nighttime um, vision from the front camera. 
so just wrapping up um, you can see the night vision there's a bit of noise there so like, I mean if you look at the clouds etc but I guess um, this isn't a, a video camera that you'd use for YouTube or filming so um, it's doing a good job let's just have a look at these road signs as they pop up again um, everything's in focus with enough time so um, nothing major to worry about and you can see as we're going to get closer to the cars as they're going past um, there is a bit of uh, light exposure but nothing nothing major to worry about so that's pretty much it guys this is the last of our five part review make sure to go out and check out the other cameras if you are looking at buying the road edge your products and use our code crd20 for 20% off i hope you found these series of reviews useful and um, who knows maybe we'll review some other products of theirs in the future um, leave a comment down below if you're looking to get this camera and if you found the video useful make sure you give it a thumbs up thanks for watching